Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a film roll filter like this with free um, yeah, video streams, a frame on top and also some effects like grain and chromatic aberration. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create this film roll filter here in effect house. Before we start creating the filter here, please make sure that you have downloaded the frame asset we need to create this filter so please just go to the description of this video and click on the download link then you will end up here on this dropbox page and here just click on download after the download is done please just import this frame.png graphic into the assets panel of your effect house project before we continue with this tutorial, I want to give a shout out to Razer who sent me this amazing USB-C dock, which makes my workflow so much more comfortable because I can just plug in all my devices I need at home. And when I go away with my laptop, I just disconnect this cable. And when I come back, I connect it again and I can st just start using all my devices again. And it also gives me some additional ports which my laptop doesn't have. So if you also need a USB-C dock, just yeah, check out the description of this video where I will link this product. And now we continue with the tutorial. After the import is done, the first thing I do with my graphics is to select them in the assets bundle, go to the right hand side and set the compression type to none. After we have done this, we can start creating the filter. So we go to our left hand side and click on add object. Here we go to 2D and then we select screen image. Now we have this placeholder. Now we select the screen image on the left hand side, then go to the right hand side, go down to image and here for the texture we select our frame texture. Now we have already the overlay for our effect but we want to have another video stream up there and also down there, so let's create them. For this, we go again to the left hand side and click on add object. Then we go down to 2D again and select the screen image. Now we can also select the screen image on the left hand side. And now I will rename this to up. So this will be the image up there. And then go to the right hand side again to texture. And for the texture now, the built in render output. Now the frame is gone because the render output is overlaid to the frames. To change this, we go to the left hand side to our hierarchy and now we have to make sure that the up object is upon the screen image. And when we have done this, the frame is visible again. Now we have to change the position of our up image. For this, we select the up image then go to the middle of our screen to our scene and here we can just drag our picture and move it up and now just make sure that the edge of the of this layer is underneath the frame so yeah this looks good and now we have to do the same for the picture um, on the bottom but for this we can just yeah duplicate our up layer so go to the left hand side right click and duplicate this layer now i will also rename this to down and now do this again go to your scene and drag and drop this layer down to its position now the film roll filter is more or less done, but I want to play around with some effects now. For this, we go to add object again, then we go to post effect and here we can select a lot of filters or yeah, effects. And I will apply a grain effect to this film roll filter now. And when we do this, we can see there is a grain overlay and makes this filter more authentic. And I also want to add um, a chromatic aberration effect too. So I go again to add object, go to post effect, and here we have the chromatic aberration. When we apply this, the effect is really strong, but I want to yeah, make it a little bit um, less obvious. 
So I select the chromatic aberration on the left hand side and then on the right hand side I can just set the in uh, intensity from 1 to let's say 0 0.1. Maybe a little bit more 0 0.2. Now it's just a subtle effect here on the edges. And of course you can do this also with the grain effect. When you select it on the right hand side you have a lot of settings you can change. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and now you have successfully created your own film roll effect here in Effectors. Yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you're new on this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!